so cool? Science! Science you can do at home. <laughs> Apparently, I've got a talkative black hole. And I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... What causes us to fart? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. Or maybe you don't want to. Warning, the following video contains a lot of fart jokes, so if you're a person who doesn't like fart jokes, get a sense of humor! Headed on a date and afraid it's wind that you will break? Stay away from beans and vegetable drinks, or you'll find yourself shrouded in the atmosphere of Uranus. Afraid your friends will all disband because you're playing the one-man Mexican band? Stay away from spicy foods or fermented dairy. Or you'll be joining the brotherhood of the scratch and sniff pants. <laughs> Gotta present those charts, but don't want a serious case of the fart? <laughs> Stay away from foods like nuts and oat bars. Or you'll find yourself getting a message from Colonel Sphincter. <laughs> Why do these things cause us to blast the anal salute? Well, here's something you can blame on me. Take a closer look at this. After your stomach has turned your food into chyme, it's squeezed at small intervals into a 32 centimeter section of your small intestine. Here, the liver secretes fat-busting chemicals, known as bile, and the pancreas secretes sugar and starch-busting chemicals, known as insulin. Next, your food enters the 7 meter long, twisting tube that most people think of when they think of the intestines. By this point, the food has become a liquid that is absorbed by tiny 1 millimeter finger-like projections known as villi. These villi absorb the digested liquids into your bloodstream. The reason this portion of your intestine is so long is because not all of your food digests at the same rate. Carbohydrates and proteins finish their digesting in the last 2 meters of your small intestine. Eventually, small amounts of this liquid, minerals and undigested solids, are squeezed into a two and a half meter long tube called the large intestine. Here, the liquid and minerals are reabsorbed back into your body, drying the material and feeding bacteria that are needed to make vitamin K. These bacteria always release gases into your large intestines. However, undigestible fats, oils, sugars, and starches as well as undigested foods such as corn and nuts make bacteria work harder to break these things down, which releases massive amounts of gas into your large intestine. These gases build up until they are squeezed out of your body, which is known as flatulence. Eventually, all this solid material is squeezed into the colon and it builds up. The pressure on your colon tells you it's time to empty your bowels and squeeze this fecal matter out of your body. So now you know why you toot your own horn. You know, knowing which foods not to eat if you don't want to send out air pigeons is why science is so cool. Oh.